California's homeless crisis has touched people from all different backgrounds. But Sean Pleasant's case is truly unique. It's not someone else's problem. It's a problem we all could face. The 52-year-old had been a high school valedictorian, got a degree from Yale, worked on Wall Street, and became the owner of his own business before it all fell apart and he wound up homeless on the streets of L.A.'s Koreatown. Our story seemed to hit a nerve. I started reading it in just tears. Kim Hirschman could not sit still, especially after learning his encampment was mere miles away from her home. The Hollywood attorney, also a Yale grad, began to formulate a plan. You're a lawyer. You're not a homeless advocate. Why are you deciding to get involved with this? Because uh, I'm a human being. How could I not? I live in L.A. Um, he is someone who is a year behind me in school. So on a sunny September afternoon, she headed to Koreatown, feeling an obligation to help someone she considers one of her own. You don't have to bring any food. You don't have to bring any toiletries. Fast forward 20 days later, I didn't stop for a second. moving day as Sean, along with his partner David, say goodbye to the streets after 10 years. On this day today, we will leave the street, hopefully forever. Kim arranged for them to stay in a guest house on a posh L.A. estate. <laughs> Soon they'll have a place of their own with Section 8 housing. She's an angel. You have air conditioning, yes. all the comforts of life, yes. television, internet. It was, What's that like? It was unreal because we kept thinking of ones, at some point someone's going to say April Fool's and, and, and it's over. Turns out it was just the beginning. We are having a birthday brunch. But it's not all fairy tales. Years on the street contributed to a powerful drug addiction. Rehab is a must. Him is facilitating. It's tantamount. It's to, to my credibility. Muhammad. And along the way, they've been documenting the journey. Are you crying, boy? Yeah. Yeah. Sean's goal, to become a powerful voice to combat the homeless crisis and become worthy of his new lease on life. There are people watching this story saying, this guy's been given another chance, yes. and I sure hope he doesn't blow it. I do, too. I hope I don't. I sure hope I don't, and I hope for their sakes that they don't lose their footing because they'll experience some of the worst times that I, oh, I experienced personally. Is there any chance you'll wind up back on the street someday? I hope the hell not. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Click the ABC7 logo to subscribe to our Eyewitness News YouTube channel.